What's up guys, it's me, Fruki, and t in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own 1.16 Minecraft server without the use of port forwarding, because I know a lot of people have struggles with doing port forwarding, because it, it can be quite a troublesome thing to do. I recommend that you use your server with only your close friends, just to prevent um, the risk of someone getting access to your personal information. Um, and I'm just, I'm going to link all the, all the links and the downloads that I use in this video in the description of the video. Alrighty, so we're going to start off by making a new folder, and I'm just going to call it Minecraft Server. You can name it whatever you want, as long as it's related to your server, really. And then we're going to go to the first link in the description and go to Minecraft Forge. I'm going to go to 1.16.2 up here. And I'm just going to press the installer and just let that go. And we're just going to wait the five seconds. Uh, don't click anything here. You just wait. And then you can click skip here and then it'll st start downloading down here. There we go. We have Minecraft Forge. I'm just going to drag it onto the desktop. I can get out of this now. And I'm just going to open this file up now. And now... This screen may see this screen may look familiar if you play with mods on Minecraft and stuff like that. But instead of doing install client here, I'm actually going to click install server and then I'm going to press the three dots here and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to click the the folder that I just made and hit open. And then okay, and then this could take a little while to download, so I'm just going to um to cut to when it's done. We are now going to open this up. We're just going to, well, we're not going to open it. We're going to right click and then we're going to hit edit. And then you're going to paste in the, um, the, the line of text that I have in the description, which should be this right here. And then we're going to go ahead and highlight file name and we're going to change it to what our file says here. This Minecraft server 1.16.2 jar. It should look like that. Um, it'll be similar even if you did choose a different version. Um, so we're going to basically copy that, and then we're going to come back here, and we're going to paste it where the file name is. And this right here is how much RAM you want to dedicate towards your server to run it. It's basically how much power you're putting into it. So it's good to know how much RAM your computer has. So I'm going to just go ahead and hit 4, right? And then we're going to hit save, X out of that, and then we can run this up. And then it'll start to load the Minecraft server and generate the world and all that. Well, not yet, actually. First, of course, we have to... It, it, you can see these two new files here, right? It'll say ula.txt and then server properties. And then um, in the server properties, this is just like, you know, the um, settings of your server. Uh, there's like message of the day I can change and just like Minecraft server. There we go. And then you can see that once we're actually on the server screen. So that's, uh, we don't need to do anything there yet. Here, we need to change this from false to true on the ula.txt file. So that way we can actually launch the server. And then we're going to hit run.bat again. And now finally it actually is going to generate the world and the server. So let's just give it a minute here. All right, it's all done. And now I'm going to go ahead and open up Minecraft. Now, I can join this server now from if I type in localhost in my server address. I can join it, right? It'll say, see, there's the server. Works perfectly. But there's no IP for your for anyone else to join. So if you want your friends to play. So this is the part where we go to the other link in the description um, we're just gonna stop the server really quick we're just gonna type in stop and hit enter and there we go and then we're gonna go to the other one um, this ngrok.com slash download and we're gonna hit download for Windows and then wait till this file downloads here and then we're gonna open up the folder and we should have this right here you're just gonna do you're just gonna copy this here uh, you can get out of this now and then we're going to just paste it right into here. And now what we do is we open this up. Right? And then we type, you're going to type in ngrok space 
TCP space 25565. And this number is just your default port. So if it's different for you, you can change that. But for most people, it'll, it'll be that number. And then you're just going to hit enter. Yeah, and now we're going to see here, that's your server IP. We're just going to copy that. And then you can minimize that. And oh, I just want to note, every time that you close out of this file, you will have to restart it and then it'll generate a new IP. So that's the only catch um, for for hosting a server this way. But I would say that it's pretty worth it even if you can't port forward because this is a very good alternative. So now we're going to go ahead and run our server. Wait till that loads. Bring over this. And now we're going to hit add server. And we're going to... Oh, sorry about that. We're going to paste in that IP that we just um, copied. We're going to hit done. And we can go ahead and join it. And there you go. And also, if you want to type in commands and have operator on your server, you can just go ahead and into the console here. And you can just type in op and then your Minecraft username. And then you can do anything from there. And yeah, uh, works perfectly. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helped you out um, for those of you that can't po port forward. And make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.